Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video updated on Wednesday the 11th of April. Now it's still very murky and messy over the next few days. Uh, the far west and northwest always faring best for highest cloud breaks and essentially dry conditions. The wind flow turning around towards the south over the weekend and eventually we'll draw in something much warmer into next week and several days of dry weather look believable through the middle part of the month. Now temperatures are all rather much of a muchness over the next few days. Coldest where you're in cloud and across the eastern Scottish Highlands maybe only just above freezing point. Uh, warmer values out towards the west coast of Scotland. This chart shows you the values that more or less at the height of the highest Scottish summits. The chart maybe is a bit higher than that but we can get the general steer for where things are going in the days ahead and not too much changing into the weekend. Broadly just a few degrees above freezing point. Uh, mildest values probably always towards the western side of Scotland. Over the weekend, as the wind flow turns towards the south, the very subtle changes uh, still only holding a few degrees above freezing, so the higher terrain uh, still staying extensively snow covered in the highlands. I think by next week, though, we're seeing a more marked lift in temperature, even up to the higher levels. Eventually, after a few days of similar temperatures early in the week, a push of warmer air comes up from the south. In the middle part of the week, temperatures even on higher tops, up to five or six degrees perhaps, and maybe some places even higher than that in England and Wales. So a marked thaw, really, the first more rapid thaw of the season in many places. Highest tops in Scotland still with extensive snow cover will take a long time to change the conditions too much. But anywhere up to about 900 metres or a bit above, I think most of the snow will disappear apart from those at sheltered corries. Here's your charts for the days ahead then. Thursday still has that easterly wind in place. Dregs of fronts across uh, central northern England producing bits and pieces of rain and drizzle. Again, the best of the brightness is across western Scotland where cloud breaks should be available to many higher tops. Otherwise, a lot of low cloud and murk once again feeding in from the North Sea. Something a bit more organised in terms of fronts and little area of low pressure pivots northwestwards across Britain through Friday could give some more persistent, steadier rainfall across eastern Scotland. Again, least in the way of rain towards the far west and northwest highlands, although maybe uh, a cloudier day with bits and pieces of rain getting in from time to time. Areas of showers across England and Wales are rather disorganised. I think still quite a murky day. The cloud base may lift a little bit as temperatures just rise through the day, though. Into the weekend and the leftovers of previous fronts are still around across northern Scotland at the risk of some patchy rain around locally, maybe an isolated shower breaking out more across England and Wales in the afternoon. Not too much wind around though, barely an isobar on the chart, so light winds across most areas all day and the cloud base lifting a little bit higher than previously, maybe a bit murky still in the morning, but overall should be a brighter day and feeling a little bit warmer comparatively as well. Tricky with the detail and timing into Sunday. It all depends how quickly uh, fronts are coming in off the Atlantic and pushing northeastwards. It may be that things start off OK, but the risk of areas of rain or showers breaking out more increasingly through the day from the southwest. So things may just go downhill and winds strengthening as well, maybe even as much as gale force on some of the higher tops if these uh, fronts advance northwards that quickly. I think the north and northeast of Scotland is probably the best place to avoid uh, the showers and probably stays brightest most of the day. A chance that many places get away not too bad, but just work on the idea of maybe a windier and perhaps a wetter day developing through Sunday. It leaves us with a fairly unsettled start to next week, particularly across more western regions with areas of showers around, perhaps some longer periods of rain locally. A brisk south southwesterly wind, and that could well be up to gale force widely on many of the mountains, perhaps even severe gale force over a few hours across western Scotland through Monday into Tuesday. Eventually, though, the driving area of low pressure over the Atlantic that uh, creates those strong winds will tend to weaken and pull away uh, northwards towards Iceland in the middle part of the week, allowing higher pressure to the east to build in more strongly, so essentially becoming a drier picture through the week. And with the wind flow being drawn up from the south still, it's an increasingly mild one with uh, good cloud breaks too high atop with the drier air mass coming in across the country. So essentially it could be a fine week of spring weather eventually next week. Might take a bit of getting going early on, but the week improving, becoming drier, becoming warmer and with a good amount of sunshine in place, I would have thought through the middle and latter stages of the week. The wind flow is still from the south towards the following weekend and it's this little area of low pressure around Biscay that needs watching. If we just uh, develop that, we could see a thundery breakdown to an early spell of spring warmth. 
A bit too early to get clever about those details further ahead, but the general idea for next week is a getting better one after a bit of a troublesome start with some wind and some rain. Keep right up to date then with your very latest details for your next three days, updated every single day as always at the Mountain Weather Information Service website. I'm going to update the video again before the weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.